this Monday, November 12th, was starting off really well. And then bang. A trawler who hadn't his AIS on. I was sleeping about 10 minutes. And then this collision with this trawler. Miraculously, the mast is still there. I have no guy left. I put together a jury rig. Hope it holds. And I have no bowsprit left. There are damages on the front of the boat. The Vendée Globe 2012 for me is at its end. For Group Bell and for everyone who followed me on this adventure, I feel really bad. It's a terrible accident. I'm sorry. We're the ones to be even more sorry for him. It looks as though the curse is still active, that he'll never get very far from Les Sables d'Olonne. Four years ago, after 28 hours in the race, he dismasted. This time, after barely three days, this collision with a trawler who hadn't activated its AIS, his positioning system. I don't know what to say. We worked so hard for this race, for three months. To put this all together, it's really hard to cope with this. It's terrible. It happened this morning at 10, 70 miles north of Kashkaish, where he's now heading. He was in 10th position, well set in the fleet following the leading trio. At 4 p.m., François Gabard is ahead of Armel Lecliache and Vincent Rioux. They're within 17 miles. They'll need tact. For them today, it's in the art of compromise. In the third day of the race, a little slide along the Spanish and Portuguese coasts. And as you can see, the sea is quite rough. It's the difficulty of the day. Mustn't confuse speed and precipitation. We try to go fast without going too fast. <laughs>